Hey guys, Dantix here. Huge news, guys. Huge. Long-time players of Borderlands 3 are going to absolutely lose it over what's coming in the latest patch, and many fans who've stopped playing will likely want to come back and check it out. Okay, so buckle up and get ready because this video is going to cover increased bank space. Oh, oh yes, baby, it's about time. Assigned loot drops for legendary loot. Yeah, yeah, we needed that. Also, we're gonna have a sneak preview of the next DLC, Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot. Mayhem Mode 4 and more. I'll try to be as quick as possible. Before we start, letting you know that we're giving away this sweet Logitech pack thanks to our friends over at 2K and, of course, Logitech. To enter, all you need to do is find this tweet on my Twitter, like and comment. I'll be announcing the winner in a week's time, so get in quick, you don't want to miss out. Okay, let's get right into why you're here, starting with bank space. As many of you know, you've had to throw out legendaries in the past because bank space in Borderlands 3 is oddly limited. The game was marketed as having over a billion guns, yet they only gave us 50 slots to, 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 to play around with in our shared bank. I just, I, I still don't understand it. It just, it just blows my mind. So now they're bumping that up six times to 300. To get to that 300, you'll need to purchase SDUs like you do with ammo capacity and inventory space. However, hopefully this will be enough for now. <laughs> Though honestly, you can never have too much space. This will mean my inventory is now freed up so I can try out new weapons instead of having to leave everything on the floor. We'll need the extra space too as the next update is assigned drops for legendary loot. Yes, bosses will now have specific loot tables. All legendaries are now assigned to named mobs and bosses throughout the game. Since the loot pool is large though, we can expect multiple legendaries assigned to each boss with a generous drop rate to start, which may get changed over time. Previously, legendary loot was completely random, meaning that if you wanted a particular item, like the Hellwalker shotgun, you would need to kill enemies over and over until you chance upon it. Now, you can find the enemy that contains the gun within them, smash it open like a pinata until it pops out. Makes building your character a lot less tedious and a lot quicker. This will apply to the base game, proving grounds, seasonal content like Bloody Harvest, and the new takedowns that are on their way. The first takedown DLC content will be the Malawan Black Site, and it'll be the hardest content in the game, providing its own unique challenge and loot for those up to it. With Mayhem 4 coming, more on that soon, the combination of the two will be the hardest possible content in the game with the best drops. So are you tired of Mayhem 3? You, do, you, do you need more of a challenge? Well, Mayhem 4 is on its way and it will provide the highest challenge for the most coordinated of groups. This is a slightly different approach to the random modifiers from Mayhem 1, 2, and 3. In the original three modes, players had to deal with negative modifiers like that minus 30% damage or bullet reflection, but Gearbox are removing the negative penalties that apply to players. There'll only be two random modifiers, one that applies a bonus to players and one that applies a bonus to enemies. This is fantastic. Many of you still have PTSD like me fighting the Grave Ward, unleashing a flurry of crits only for your bullets to bounce back and kill you in one shot. <laughs> Negatives brought unnecessary resets, so Gearbox simply knew to remove them, especially for your end game experience. Also, a new batch of legendary gear will only drop while in Mayhem 4 to reward those players who are truly up for the challenge. This sounds restrictive on paper, but what else would be in the, <laughs> the incentive to take on such hard content? By locking some gear in Mayhem 4, the mode becomes the ultimate goal. It gives you something to play the endgame for. I'm personally super excited to jump headfirst into Mayhem 4 and destroy some Malawan dickheads. Long term, Gearbox has plans to overhaul Mayhem mode with more UI support, new Mayhem modifiers that change gameplay more dramatically, Mayhem playlists, new rewards, and additional levels of Mayhem to work through. This is currently called Mayhem 2.0, and we'll hear more about this next year when it's closer to release. It's nice to know that Gearbox is listening to our feedback. I know it truly seems like they've been listening to what I want. If there's something else you want, let me know in the comments. There's also basic performance and UI updates on the way as well. I don't know the specifics, so I can't comment on it, but there's more bug fixes and stability improvements, which all may be found in the complete patch notes on ballands.com. DX12 will now be on by default. A lot of players were seeing a performance increase with DX12 on once the game is loaded, that is. I know a few players that find the game takes much longer to initialize because of DX12, but once they're in the game, it performs much better. 
If you're having issues with DX12, you can always put it down to 11 in the menu. Finally, they're introducing a lot more vending machines throughout the game to buy and sell loot. Not that I ever really used them beyond stocking up on ammo, as my inventory was always full of legendaries and I couldn't pick up items to sell, but newer players will appreciate these changes. So those were the major changes coming with the new patch. What do you think? Personally, there is nothing here I don't thoroughly appreciate. The extra bank space will mean I can enjoy collecting items again. The loot tables will mean that if I have an itch for some particular item, I can scratch it more easily. With Mayhem 4, I have extra content to shoot for. With takedowns almost here, I have even more to bring me back into the game. So that was all the Day 60 patch has to offer. Now, let's take a look at the new DLC on its way. Hey, sugar, I've got a little proposition for you. If you're feeling lucky. I'm talking loot, but not just any loot. Handsome Jack's Casino. This heist, it's personal. He stole my designs to build this place. Taking it back is scratching him out of my books forever. Stay sharp, sugar. You're ready for action. So there was a lot to dissect here. New enemies, new potential loot, and a moxie focus, but I'll leave that up to you and another video. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out my Twitter, link below to enter the Logitech competition. I also have a comp to win a Switch if you're interested. I'm Dantix and I cover all things RPG. I'll be back very soon with more.